hi welcome back to your new lesson in this lesson I am going to show you how we can use a multiply instruction into our microcontroller the multiply instructions multiply the contents of a pair of a register and depending upon the instruction accumulate the result in with another register the long multiplies accumulate onto a pair of registers representing a 64 bit values the final result will be placed in a destination register or a pair of register and if I say you this writing a syntax of a register uh, of a multiply instruction then we can write a syntax of this like this we have MLA multiply and accumulate and there is another instruction which is a simple multiplication and after that we have a here a optional condition in ARM mode we can add this conditional code also a conditional uh, statement here and then there is s that is suffice s it will this s will update the flag status register and then we have here rd that's the destination register then we have source register rm rn uh, we can say rm rs and then finally rn that is the multiply and the accumulate and in the case of the only the multiply we have of course the condition here that's the optional and s suffice that is optional and we have a destination register the source register rm and rs so if i let's say if i write here mla rd rm rs and rn that means it will put the result into the rd register and it will multiply rm and rs and then it will add with rn register and if i say you mul rd rm and rs then in this case it will put once again the result into the rd register and it will multiply the register of rm and the rs the value into the register of rm and rs and one more thing here i would like to highlight let's say if the result produces more than 32 bit since these registers are only can hold 32 uh, by, uh, by bit values so if result produces more than 32 bit value then ARM processor automatically uses a pair of registers to store the final result since if we multiply two 32 bit cross 32 bit registers then it will produce a, a minimum of 64 bit result and that can be stored into a registered pair and this type of instruction multiply and accumulate instructions are very useful into DSP algorithms especially into a filtering while performing convolution this uses convolution very frequently MLA type of instructions multiply and accumulate where filter coefficient HN and XN get multiplied together to get the final output let's try to understand it with the example let's say here we have r0 r0 is equal to 0 x 0 0 and we have r1 also and r1 is 0 x 4 times 0 and then 3 times 0 and 2 and then here we have r2 a same value as r1 0 0 and the 2 and let's write the instruction multiply mul 
R0, R1, R2. So in this case it produces result R0 is equal to R1 multiplied by R2. Then it says R0 is equal to 0x, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4 and R1 and R2 will be same as previous. Right? Exactly. And one more thing you might have noticed here is that we don't have here any S. S suffix is not present here. That means this type of instruction will not update. Will not update status register. That is CPSR. Right. So here we. Um, so this is a simple type of multiplications and multiplication and accumulate. Now I am going to show you signed multiply and unsigned multiply. Signed and unsigned multiply. So here we have SMLAL, that's the sign, sign multiply and accumulate long. And there is another instruction which you, you have SMU double L, signed multiply long. And then we have unsigned multiply long. And then we have unsigned multiply. Uh, sorry, this will be the M U L double L. Okay, M U double L. So that is unsigned multiply long. So this is unsigned multiply long, and this is unsigned multiply accumulate long. unsigned multiply accumulate long and this has signed multiply long and this has signed multiply and accumulate long signed multiply accumulate long right and now let's try to understand these instructions with an example and uh, let's say we have r0 is equal to 0x00 and we have here R1 is equal to 0x2. We have here R2 that's 0x00 and the 2. Now let's say if we say the multiply R0, R1 and R2 which is equivalent to the R0 is equal to the R1 and R2. Then it becomes R0 is equal to 0x4 and R1 becomes 0x00 and 2 and of course R2 is also same. 
so you see here this has changed here uh, right so I think we had discussed this earlier and in the same way let's say if I uh, take the same example here to multiply uh, with unsigned instruction let's say we are going to use this unsigned multiply okay so there we are going to take r0 with same value and uh, let's take once again r0 with 0x 4 times 0 and r1 we are going to take with 0x 4 times 0 and let's take r2 r2 is equal to the 0x and then we have here f 3 times 0 then 3 times 0 2 and then we have let's say the r2 okay so we have r0 r1 r2 and the r3 and we are going to write here instruction u m u double l unsigned multiplication with r0 r1 r2 and r3 in this case you will see here the result will be placed into r0 and r1 and it will multiply register r2 and the r3 so we can say here the result will be placed here into r0 and r1 in fact it will be like this higher byte i mean will be stored into r1 and the lower byte will be stored into the r0 and then it will multiply this r2 and r3 okay so here this is unsigned multiply long so this is known as unsigned multiply long and here we are not using any s suffix if you have noticed that that means it will not update any status flag register so this is all about in this video in which we have discussed about the signed and unsigned multiply and the normal multiply instructions which is uh, used into our microcontroller and we have here used also MLA multiply and accumulate instruction which is very famous instruction into DSP algorithms especially these type of instructions are being used into filtering and the convolution so thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day